oh yeah we got this okay so this is a bit of a this might be a bit of a controversial subject in general because i'm a big fan of hers right but it's just the footage and the coverage so do a leap i'm a big fan of right I, I played you know one kiss was prior to covid one kiss was my sleeper banger that i'd play in a bar in a pub right peak hours you drop that one kiss track that she did and it would usually kind of go off and the girls will sing that track word for word it mixes with quite a lot of other stuff in loads of other genres it's a good bpm it's about 122 it's a great record and i'm you know she's obviously a very talented girl but is it me or is the coverage of her lately been way way over the top like i I feel like her label are really trying their absolute best to make her into the modern day incarnation of Madonna and it kind of feels a bit forced it feels like they're just not letting her breathe and do her job as an artist and kind of you know let it happen organically they're just sort of kind of shoving it down our throat continuously and if you think I'm exaggerating it look in recent weeks just in recent weeks alone she's on the front cover of rolling stone she's on the front cover i think of vogue it feels like yeah and then there was and then over lockdown there was that whole performance that she did where it was kind of um an immersive thing that you had to buy your tickets for behind the paywall it just feels a little bit too much like it's just constant 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 coverage of this girl and it, it just feels a little bit manufactured and it kind of makes me um wonder why it makes me also wonder and believe that this whole payola uh thing does exist in a big way in music like a lot of the reason why people certain artists are where they are and are bigger names than they probably should be his definitely to do with the machine behind them deciding to just crank it up and insert more money into the flipping machine and get it out there in a big big way it's not necessarily the craft and the art of what they're putting out there and maybe also it's the fact that they can do the payola thing and get their tracks spun on a certain radio station you know five days a week seven days a week 24 7 and if you listen to a track enough times especially on your way to work or something or just running errands you're probably going to end up forcing yourself to like it right um the, a modern kind of incarnation i can think of that was that drake track what was that um i'm coming home whatever remember that track right that was one of probably drake's worst tracks but the more you heard it over and over again it sort of kind of you sort of started to like it right even though you knew it was a terrible track track and i feel like this this whole approach that um uh dua lipa's management team are taking with her is inevitably gonna serve her it's probably gonna probably gonna hurt her more than it is going to help her because people are going to end up getting fatigued i think the same thing happened with uh beyonce and um, rihanna obviously has the same thing but she just takes massive breaks in between albums but there is a skill in being able to know when to pop out and when not to pop out again when to kind of pull back a bit when to give your um, fans more content um when to maybe just let them have a bit of a break and put other things out there there definitely is a skill to it but i just feel like this constant media coverage of the scale is just way 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 over the top for her level of talent don't get me wrong she's a good she's a great singer i think she's obviously got an ear for good beats um the dancing is a bit odd anyway she's got that meme where she's sort of like shaking her the, her wrist her her midsection in a weird and aggressive way but in terms of her being the next madonna i just don't see it um I, I, but then i also think to myself if a label did have um the modern incarnation of Madonna on their hands what would they do would they just let her be an underground artist and kind of let her do her own thing probably not they'd probably do what they're doing with Dua Lipa right and just kind of ramp up the marketing campaign and get her everywhere so that people could be kind of forced to like her in record time because I felt it feels like again maybe she's been around for a while I think what five years maybe plus than that right or maybe in terms of pop wise mainstream attention in the last four years or so but it feels like they're rushing it that's what i feel like i feel like it like she's been she's probably gotten way too much coverage in terms of her level of experience and overall time in the game it just seems to be a bit overboard i don't know man i don't know maybe it's just me maybe i'm kind of going over the board around it but i just think this is a little bit too much um there's too much being put out there about her in public and I feel like inevitably it's just going to end up hurting her in the long run because people end up getting tired, end up getting bored and they want a new shiny thing to come along. And, you know, if there's one thing we know about the music industry, they love a new shiny object to come along to invest their money into. So this might be a bit counterproductive for her going forward. But again, she's making money, she's making dough. So who cares in that regard?